Hey, good afternoon. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and I'm on a property, uh, a local property, and we're going to be talking uh, about thinning woodlands. This week's habitat hints all about thinning woodlands, and I'm very grateful to have here with me MDC's Michael Bill, and he's going to tell us all we need to know about when you want to go out and help your property by thinning woodlands. So let me let me turn this around, and we'll get to talking. Hey, good afternoon, Michael. How are things today? Good, good. <laughs> So tell us about the whole point behind thinning woodlands and why we do this and how we do it. Okay, so there's two different main uh, community types in Missouri. There's forest and woodlands. And the difference between woodlands and forest is that woodlands are much more open. They have large scattered trees throughout the, throughout the woods and they have a really uh, lush herbaceous understory. And so, we can take these overstock woodland conditions where we have too many trees here and we can thin them out and then we can apply, carefully apply prescribed fire. So as you can see here, there's a few trees that have been marked to remove. Okay. Yeah. And the center here is our forest crop tree that we're trying to retain this post oak. So in this application, this treatment, we're going to go through here. We're going to thin out these trees that are, that are competing for the sunlight here. And, uh, and we're going to take those trees out of the stand and then we're gonna open it up. And with that, you're gonna get more, more sunlight to the ground and that's gonna help create and stimulate this herbaceous component that you see here. And that's gonna be really great uh, for brood habitat, for turkeys. Um, it's gonna be really great for a lot of wildlife species, a lot of uh, uh, migratory songbirds that come through our areas. Mm -hmm. And so it's just gonna be a, a really good wildlife practice. So after we've got the thinning, we've opened it up, then we're gonna carefully put prescribed fire on this landscape here. And that's gonna really encourage, you know, it's gonna eat up the, it's gonna take out the oak leaf litter that you see mm -hmm. here, and it's gonna encourage that grass and forb component. And through, you know, putting that fire on a three to five year rotation, we can keep that condition here, we can keep it kind of knocked back, and we can create this, what we call woodland habitat, which has a lot of wildlife benefits. Now, Michael, tell us, exactly how do you know which trees to cut down you know how do we go about you know if i'm a landowner i want to go out and i want to thin out you know some of my woodlands how do i go by knowing which should i cut out what should i not so the first thing you can do is get a good understanding of the types of trees that are growing on your property so in this type of woodland community we're really going to be focused on the oak the post oak uh, mm -hmm. community that you see here so being able to identify the difference between post oak and hickory and red oak it's gonna be really helpful for that first step. So the first thing we're doing is, is choosing the right species. The next thing we're gonna do is look at how healthy is the tree here. So if you look at this post oak here, it's got a really good crown on it, it's healthy. Uh, and if you look at the trees that are marked around it, they're suppressed or yeah. they've got forks or they've already got one stem dying or declining here. We don't wanna maintain those in the stand. We wanna take those out now. It's just like weed in your garden. You wanna take out the undesirable plants and leave the very best crop trees. So right species, make sure they're healthy, and then we can look at the form of the tree uh, and we can remove those poor form trees, those fork trees, the trees that suppress, already suppressed. Yeah. Because we're reallocating resources, nutrients, moisture, sunlight, back to our crop trees, the trees that we're trying to keep out here. And then we want spacing wide enough that we can get sunlight to the ground uh, to encourage this, this important herbaceous component here. Now there's quite a few trees in here, like you said. So, I mean, I see you have marked these, but what about other trees? I mean, how many do you cut? And how many do you avoid cut? How does that work? So the best option is to work with a professional forester. Um, the Department of Conservation has professional foresters that you can work with. Um, they have foresters assigned to every county and they can help you develop a management plan for your property. And that's gonna really help drive what species you remove, and they can actually come out and help you market uh, to get that done. And so I think your best step is to, is to find a professional that can help you move in that direction. And so we have, uh, like I said, foresters across the state that can help you with that. You can look into your local contacts on our NBC's webpage, and uh, they can help you, they'll break this into what they call stands, little individual tracks, and they'll be able to look at the actual trees that are here, they'll take an inventory, and from there, they can determine basically what they call a prescription, how you're gonna move forward with this management. And that's gonna give you really a scientific basis on how you wanna move forward. And then from there, we can, and they'll work with you to mark the trees you wanna remove out of here. And uh, we can talk about, you know, how to put fire lines in and do prescribed fire, do prescribed burn planting, 
So I think the key awesome. is to really tie in with a professional and they're gonna be able to help answer all these questions. All right, I really appreciate it. And I mean, um, the main goal here to thinning woodlands is to increase habitat, correct? Sure. That is correct. I mean, these are native communities that were found throughout Missouri. Um, they are really prevalent uh, throughout the state and, uh, and they are just a real key habitat. If we're talking about turkey management, they're just amazing for turkeys. Uh, great bugging habitat, brood habitat. Uh, and so where we can encourage them, we have the right species, the right site, um, and the careful application of fire that can be a huge benefit for wildlife. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Michael. And Thank you. again, uh, uh, if you want to learn more about thinning woodlands or if you want to get in contact with a forester or anyone in private lands, I encourage you to check out our website at mdc.mo.gov and you can search for you know, thinning woodlands, you can search for uh, private lands, you can search for foresters, you can find your local contact numbers on our website. Have a great rest of the day.